today's lesson, we're going to talk about two new chords, the C chord and the D7 chord. And then we're going to discuss swung eighth notes and the blues strum, which we can then apply to the 12 bar blues in the key of G and the key of D. All right, here we go. Okay, the first chord we're going to go over today is the C chord or the C major. Now with this one, we have three fingers down. First finger is going to be on the first fret of the second string. Let's try something really quick. Let's play the open third string, and we're going to play second string, and then open first string. Now make sure that the first string is clear. You don't want that first finger going back this way and muting the first string. So be sure that you're right on the fingertip for this one. And if you need to, trim your nails, because a lot of times if you have longer nails, this is going to be very difficult to play. Okay. Now once you have that down, we're going to take the second finger, put it on the second fret of the fourth string, and let's try pushing that down and picking those four strings. And here you want to make sure that your second finger is not touching against the third string, otherwise, like the first string against the uh, first finger, it's going to be muted. Okay, so once that's in place and everything's clear, we could add the third finger to the third fret of the fifth string and strum these five, okay? And you want to make sure that the third finger is not touching the fourth string. So we're on the tips of the fingers. And another thing I do want to note is you want to make sure that the sixth string is not to be heard. So you hear that sixth string open, what you can do is use this part of your, your third finger just to touch very lightly against it. You're not actually pushing down that string, but you're touching lightly against it. So it mutes it. So when you're playing, you're not going to hear that that note at all. It's just going to be muted the whole time. So that's a little trick for you. Okay, so there's your C chord. Now we're going to move on to the D7 chord. We're going to leave the first finger in place. This is an example of a chord pair. So we have a shared fingering here. So the D7, we're going to have the second finger go on the second fret of the third string, third finger on the second fret of the first string, and we're only going to strum from the fourth string down. And again, make sure that the fingers are uh, on the tips, so that way you're not touching against any adjacent strings. All right, so that's your D7 chord. All right, let's do a quick exercise between the C chord and the D7. We're going to do quarter note strums, followed by whole rests. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then we'll rest rest, 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 and then D7, two, three, four, and then rest, 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 and back to C, two, three, four, and then rest, 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 back to D7, two, three, four, and then rest, 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 rest. All right, very nice. Okay, we're going to move on to a D7 to a G chord progression. So from a D7 to a G, we can leave the third finger pressed down and just slide it up one fret, move the first and second fingers. Okay, so try that a couple times, and then we'll do a quick exercise. Okay, here we go. D7 to G using quarter note strums, whole rests in between. One, two, three, four. D7. Two, three, four, and then rest. Two, three, four, G. Two, three, four, and then rest. Two, three, four, D7. And then we're just going to slide. Three, four, and then. And then rest. Two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to take some of these new chords and incorporate them into the 12 bar blues. So this is going to be the blues in the key of G major. Okay, so starting on a G chord, we have four measures of G, two measures of C, two measures of G, one measure of D7, one measure of C, and then two measures of G. All right, here we go. We're going to play very slowly, so follow along. One, two, three. Four, G, two, three, four, 
second bar, two, three, four, third bar, two, three, four, and fourth bar, two, three, and then we're going to switch right here to the C, fifth bar, two, three, four, and sixth bar, now going back to G right here, seventh bar, and eighth bar. Now here we go to D7 on the 9th bar, and then to C on the 10th bar, and back to G on the 11th bar, and 12th bar. Eighth notes are usually played evenly, with each eighth note receiving half of a beat. We refer to these as straight eighths, which are used in most rock, Latin, and pop music. Genres of music such as the blues and jazz feature eighth notes that are not played evenly. These uneven eighth notes are called swing eighths. With swing eighths, the beat is divided into three equal parts, also known as triplets. The eighth note on the downbeat gets two-thirds of the beat, and the eighth note on the upbeat gets only one-third of a beat. While straight eighths are counted one and two and three and four and, swing eighths are counted one, a two, a three, a four, a... Okay, so I'm going to play those with a D chord. So we're going to start with straight eighths. They'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and... Okay, now I'll play them as swing eighths. One, a two, a three, a four, a. Okay, so if you have trouble getting the correct rhythm with the swing eighths, try counting one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Or you can say one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. The notation needed to write swing eighth notes is rather clunky, so it has become common practice to write them as straight eighths, with an indication at the beginning of the music to play them as swing eighths. In this example, the first measure is how you'd see them written, and the second measure is how you'd actually play them. So they'd sound like this. Okay, so here's an example of the shuffle rhythm, which is used in many rock songs and the blues. And you count it like this. One, two, a three, four, a one, two, a three, four, a. Okay, so now we'll incorporate the mute technique with the shuffle rhythm. The mute will occur on the backbeat, or beats two and four. One, two, a three, four, a one, two, a three, four, a. Okay, so this final example is called the blues strum, and it features a series of swing eighth notes with an accented mute on beats two and four. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a. And notice we can have the eighth notes beam together in groups of four or groups of two. Okay, so before we do the next exercise, let's just take a D7 chord and we'll do the swung eighth notes with the mute on the backbeat, so on beats two and four, like so. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Try it with me. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Okay, nice. Now we're gonna go from the D7 to the G chord, two measures of each. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. To the G. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a. All right. Next, we're going to go and uh, review the 12-bar blues in the key of D. But this time, we're going to use the blues strum. Okay, we're going to start on the D. Four bars of D, two bars of G, two bars of D, 
one bar of A, one bar of G, and then two bars of the D will make the 12 bar blues. Here we go, one, two, three, four. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. A one, a two, a three, a four. A one, a two, a three, a four to the G. to the A, two, a three, a four, to the G, back to D, one, two, three, four. All right, the last exercise for this lesson is the 12 bar blues in the key of G using a blues strum. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, Four. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, here comes the C. to the C, two, three, four. All right, excellent job today. So what you want to do is take the C chord, take the D7 chord, get them under your fingertips, apply them to the blues in the key of D and in the key of G. And also make sure that you practice that new strum pattern we talked about, the blues strum. All right, well have fun and I will see you next time.